Today I'd like to do a video featuring my updated Urban Altoid Survival Tin. Actually, I'm not even going to call this tin a survival tin. It's more of an EDC tin. In my opinion, survival tins are better suited for rural environments and extreme conditions. So you happen to live in Caracas, Venezuela, for example, uh, where there's some real serious stuff going on in an urban environment, you'd probably want to have a different tin than what you're going to see here for this video. Because this is going to feature just general, everyday EDC type items in here. So I'm going to be moving semi-fast, so I've also included a PDF document in the description box below that contains all the items that are included in this Urban Altoids EDC tin, version 2.1. As you can see, this is just your standard Altoids tin. There's no special modifications done to the outside of the tin. I wanted it to look inconspicuous just in case you happen to have it on your desk. No one would ever question the items that you might have inside of it. As you notice on the side though, you'll see some black electrical tape. So what I did is I wrapped black electrical tape all around through the lid and that not only does that help keep it semi waterproof, but it also helps keep the lid closed at all time, even though it's filled with a lot of pieces of gear. I found that uh, the more that you fill it up with gear, the less it rattles. So here's the rattle test. So let's open it up and go through all the contents. As with all my Altoids tins, I like having a photo of Kid Prepper right on the front there. Uh, in survival situations, they talk about having the will to survive, and this is more a morale issue for me, so I like having that be the first thing that I see when I open up this tin. But behind it, I have some numbers just in case I don't happen to have my cell phone or perhaps the battery died on it. I want to have some uh, emergency numbers included. So let's start going through all those really quickly. So up at the top, I have a number for progressive auto insurance, highway assistance, AAA, Poison Center, the non-emergency number, American Red Cross, Earthquake Information Hotline, Emergency Management Number, Taxi, and then Seattle Limo and Town Car, although I've never used it for a limo, uh, but when you're at the airport sometimes you have to use a town car, so I wanted to include that number in there. And I have some numbers for the various area codes in Western Washington. So let's pan out again really quick. As you can see in the main body of the Altoids tin, I have a piece of cloth. And this cloth is actually designed for cleaning lenses. So for your glasses lenses, or maybe even for your camera lens that you might be using for YouTube, I like making sure that I keep those clean. And not only does it do that, but it also helps keep the rattling down a little bit. So when I have that cloth on the top there, I hear less clingy of the metal items. Let's zoom in more. All right, let's just start going through the items now one by one. So the first item that you'll see here, this is a mini Bic lighter. I chose to go with a mini Bic lighter instead of something like the County Com the Split P or maybe the True Utility, a similar type of lighter, is that these ones you have to fill pretty often, almost once a week. And with the Bic lighter, you could just leave it in there. And I went with the white because with the white, you could see through it a little bit. It's a little bit transparent, so you can see how much fuel you have left in it. So I found that to be extremely handy. So uh, one Bic lighter. Next, I have uh, the Four Sevens Titanium Whistle. Uh, I have this also on my keychain as well. It's a great little tiny whistle. Uh, it's hard to find nowadays. You can find it from uh, survival packs, also LED warehouse. And then wrapped around it, as you see, I have some Kevlar thread. It's around two feet of Kevlar thread that goes with the needle that's buried in this Altoids tin as well. So one whistle for emergency situations, for signaling. You also saw this one on my uh, keychain as well. This is made by True Utility. This is the True Utility Nano Light. It's a great little light, Let me see, as you see here, LED flashlight. Uh, and uh, it's just a back, for a backup scenario, I, I like having one in the tin as well as my keychain. So, True Utility Nano Light. Also by True Utility, uh, you've seen this in all my Altoids tin, this is the True Utility Telescoping Pen. Let's pan out a little bit so you can see in more detail. So it's just a collapsible pen, folds out to a decent length, so you could write fairly easy just as normal. It has some refills that uh, when they ship it to you, it'll include three refills as well. So uh, this is a great pen. It's, I've had the same pen for almost three years now. So the True Utility Telescoping Pen. I have around 14 inches of gaffer's tape, and I like going with gaffer's tape instead of duct tape because it's a less permanent solution when you're uh, sticking it to whatever item that you are. With duct tape, I find that it, it sticks a lot more, has a residue. This is just about as uh, strong as a Gorilla Tape or duct tape, although it doesn't leave that kind of residue, so it's uh, easy to take it off after you're done doing your, you know, your ad hoc repair. 
Next, I have, this is just a little a hex key. Uh, this is the standard hex key size that you get with, you know, when you order furniture or uh, you know, things like that. Oftentimes it includes one of these to put them together and I was tired of always trying to find one when I really needed one to do some maintenance on some of that furniture. So I just started including it in my Altoids tin and it comes very handy actually. So one little hex key. You can also call it an Allen key I think. Uh, continuing on. Let's see. Wrapped around uh, the inside here, I have just a single zip tie, and these things come in handy all the time, and so I like having one with me at all times, so just a single zip tie. Let's keep going in. So I like having uh, tweezers on me. This could be used for removing splinters. Uh, it's also great for, I, I work in the, the software engineering type field, it's also great for uh, pulling out jumpers from uh, motherboards and things like that. So these are the Uncle Bill's Silver Gripper Tweezers. And I took off the attachment that goes on the front of there to protect the, the, need of the, the point of it just because it, it makes it easier to fit inside the tin because uh, space is limited. Tucked away in the front of the tin, I have some thin nail clippers. These are made by True Utility. These are the True Utility Slim Clip Nail Clippers. Uh, previously I used the Poor Home Nail Clippers, uh, but those are twice as much as the True Utility version, which has the same functionality, almost the same size, and even includes uh, a keychain loop, so which makes it pretty handy. So to unlock it, you know, you just flip this little switch here, and then you're able to cut nails. I also use it with a uh, kid prepper to keep his nails uh, short as well. So some nail clippers for hygiene purposes. So most of the accessory items are now out of the tin, and the remaining items are very locked in. You kind of have to do a little bit of Legos or Tetris to get the right fit, and I found that this is a good fit for me. You can see those items don't really move that much except for the quarters. So let's pull this one out here. So this is made by iGo. This is an iGo USB cable, and it doesn't really look like a USB cable from the outside, but when you lift this out, lift this portion, you'll see that you have a USB connection as well as a USB micro and a USB mini. And w with uh, everyone using smartphones and uh, relying a lot on electronics, especially in an urban environment, I think it's very important to have uh, charging capabilities for your, your electronic devices, especially your smartphone. So I have a Galaxy S4, so I use the USB micro. And so you could basically charge this at any time uh, that you have access to maybe a computer or a charging dock. Uh, you just plug in the USB cable here, Plug the other portion of the cable to your smartphone and then you're charging away. So a very cool small device, it's very affordable too. This is the iGo USB cable. Over here I always like having a USB flash drive with me. This is made by Kingston. This is the Kingston DT Micro. It's an 8 gigabyte uh, flash drive, very small. Very reliable, it's always gonna work for you. Uh, Kingston makes great, uh, great memory and uh, great flash drive, so uh, I really like this one. So, the Kingston DT Micro 8 gigabyte flash drive. Next, I have four quarters, and I use these for sometimes, I, I need them for uh, parking meters in the downtown area, as well as uh, every once in a while, a vending machine if I'm really dying to have a Snickers bar. <laughs> Having these quarters handy uh, oftentimes saves the day. So four quarters. Uh, a staple with all of my Altoids tins is the Leatherman Micra. It's the multi-tool. It's a, it's a great multi-tool. I think it's the best one to include in a, in an Altoids tin. It sits flat, as you see here, versus something like the uh, the Leatherman Squirt, which has the tools on the outside here. It, it wouldn't balance as well. It fits almost perfectly in there. So you open it up and you have a lot of different functionality with this. Uh, the main item that I use with it is, uh, as you can see, the scissors. It has a great set of scissors on here uh, that you could use, especially in office settings and general EDC purposes. Uh, having scissors is quite nice. Uh, open it up, you have a small little blade. You have some other various tools, some uh, little flathead screwdriver, something for cleaning nails. You have uh, some tweezers, another smaller screwdriver. And then also, 
a uh, little micro one as well as a bottle opener. So just a lot of functionality with this uh, with this little Leatherman. I th this is an awesome tool. Everyone should have one, I think. So whether you have it on your keychain or in your Altoids 10, it's a cool item to have. So the Leatherman Micro. And then uh, the last item that you'll see in here, actually just in the bottom over here, I have just a single sewing needle and it's taped on with some gaffer's tape. So I have that sewing needle uh, in there, which you can then use with the Kevlar thread that's wrapped around the whistle. So this item that you see here is one of those, it's made by Countycom, it's a Countycom Mini 10. Uh, you, you can get them at countycom.com and I, I find that it's nice to have little micro compartments inside of Altoids 10. So right now I just have a single one. So let's uh, pan out and go through all the items in here. In my previous Altoids 10 video, I included two of these little micro compartments, one for medication and the other for tools. Now I just have a single one that's a combination of the two. So to speed things up, I'm just going to do a quick dump of it. So let's go through all the items. I have a single razor blade. I have three wood matches and with a little striker included that I cut out. What's left of my medication compartment is just two aspirin and two Imodium AD uh, wrapped in tin foil. I also have a single toothpick that's cut in half, so for dental hygiene. Uh, to go along with the Kevlar thread that's on the whistle as well as the needle that's in the Altoids tin, I have a single button. Also a safety pin, and these are both used for uh, clothing repair. I have a single paper clip, and this comes in handy not only for office type uh, needs, but also for electronics for doing factory resets on devices through a little pinhole that oftentimes you'll see, as well as removing CDs from uh, PCs when they get stuck. And then I also have just a, just a regular single nail. I found uh, there's several times where I needed to have a nail. I had a hammer, but no nail. And so now I carry a single nail with my Altoids tin. And that concludes all the items included in my Urban Altoids EDC tin version 2.1. Now that we went through all the items that are included in this tin, I just wanted to quickly go over some of the items that were not included in this tin. You may have noticed that there are no pieces of paper located inside of this. I found that I never used the paper that was in here, since whenever I had my Altoids tin, I also had a notebook with me that's in the same pocket, so I just excluded the paper from there. You also may have noticed that there's uh, no money in there. I have a new location uh, for my backup cash that's actually part of my tier one, so it, it was just a worked out a little bit better as far as my system goes. Uh, there's also, there is no Band-Aid or alcohol wipes included. Uh, I happen to always have those inside of a mini medi kit that I also carry with me. Uh, so I just found that th those were items that I didn't use that often. Uh, I don't happen to have a rubber band at this point because I rarely used it. And there's a few other uh, items like that. As with all my tins, I don't usually carry any kind of rural survival pieces of, of equipment such as, um, for example, fishing line. Uh, in the urban environment, uh, I'm closer to a Starbucks than I am to any kind of place that I could fish. So I choose to have more EDC type items that are going to be used fairly often uh, during the work week. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video featuring my updated Urban Altoids EDC tin version 2.1. For those of you interested in any of the items that you've seen in this video, I've included a PDF document in the description box below that provides you with information on the items as well as hyperlinks on where you could get them at. So I've been pretty happy with this uh, Altoids 10. Uh, it complements my current EDC system, adds some levels of redundancy, and just basically an all-in-one uh, tin for everyday purposes in an urban environment. So please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comments section, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya!